When you properly thread a sewing machine, it will work perfectly for you. So I'm gonna explain a few things that will make your Foff Expression 3.5 sewing machine sing like a dream. Now, it starts with quality sewing thread. So if you have some thread that's not so new, or maybe you didn't pay very much for it, let's not put that through our brand new sewing machine. Think of this as a high performance vehicle. This machine can operate at high levels don't be putting not so great thread in the machine trust me and if you have any troubles change to a better thread or just try some other threads change your needle before you call your local store usually that's all it needs it's just a little bit of some refresh better thread new needle cleaning the machine can make all the difference so first off I have a spool of thread that you can kind of see has some crisscross so I am gonna lay this down on the horizontal spool pin here down in the machine so I can flip it up put it down and then lay it down but the other thing I want to do is I want to put a spool cap on that to make sure that it doesn't come off now when you're using spool caps make sure you don't leave a gap when you are sewing and I'm going to start by winding a bobbin now if you are using a spool that might be a stack thread where the thread just goes right up the spool there's a couple brands that have that take that same spool cap put that down here you can even put the felt pad on it and then put the spool of thread on. If I ever am using two spools of thread, I'll use that in conjunction with the horizontal spool pin. All right, so I'm gonna just put the cap back on. Start by always going underneath the first thread guide and then to this little pretensioner. Now you're gonna watch me. I'm gonna be on top of this little silver finger sticking out and then I'm gonna take my left finger and then make sure it clicks in underneath this little tension spring. Now when we thread the machine for regular sewing, we go underneath this and down the front of the machine. But for winding a bobbin, we go on top of it and cross over itself and put it into the little guide at the top and the little guide back at the top. I'm gonna to go ahead and lower that vertical spool pin and put it back down out of my way. Now for winding a bobbin, Go ahead and cut your thread. You're gonna find the notation of the FAF logo, and that is always gonna be on the top when we wind a bobbin, and then also viewing from the top when we drop it in the machine. And you know what? That means we never put it in incorrectly. So I'm gonna take the thread from the inside up and out the top of this bobbin, and I'm gonna hold on to that little thread tail. As soon as I push the whole bobbin to the right, you'll notice that the bobbin winding active screen shows and then you can just go ahead hold the thread straight up and step on your foot control now it'll go ahead and wind all the way full and it'll actually break off if you hold it tight enough if you don't break it off all the way at the base make sure you trim this thread so there's no little tail for later he'll get in our way if we don't uh, trim that out there we go and then just step on the foot control I love that it winds really fast if for any reason this doesn't wind to its fullest amount this little stopper here can be adjusted to allow that to fill a little bit fuller but we'll see how it's set up here usually they go really nice right out to the edge and then as it becomes where it gets tight enough or almost full, it stops spinning. So just take your foot off the foot control, push the bobbin back, and this little guy is actually a thread cutter. So if you lift it and then bring the thread towards him, he'll cut the thread. Now, when we put our bobbin in, you just lift it straight up, slide this, and then drop the bobbin into position. We'll do a video of a little closer viewing of this. There's a little tension at the base. Bring it around to the left side, over the top, and then down where there's a little arrow. Sometimes I'll even put my door on first and then cut the thread, and then that way it holds it as I, um, as I leave it. Because the nice thing is we don't have to bring that bobbin thread up when we start to sew. So when we're done winding a bobbin, undo the machine back to the first guide uh, in front of the spool. And this time we're gonna go underneath that little um, little kind of pretensioner here and make sure your presser foot is up so if it's down things don't get threaded correctly but while it's up these tension discs are open which are right here and if you come straight down a little up in on the right and down on the left then there is a guide at the very top of the needle 
and then we have a needle threader. Once again, we'll do a video nice and close up so you can really know how that needle threader is supposed to act so it works perfectly every time. There's a cutter on the side of the machine, just bring it from the back towards you. And for testing out stitches, I always recommend that you sew on two layers of fabric. So take your fabric, fold it in half, lower your presser foot down, and let's just go ahead and start to stitch. We do have a thread cutter on this machine, so you can touch the button, cut the thread, and then lift up the foot, and it will have cut the thread. Looks great, we are ready to go. So we'll go ahead and do those little up close videos for you and show you how to do the bobbin and how to do that needle threader a little bit more individual so you know how to do it correctly every single time. 